Hello, how are you mates? We're going to have a look at the upcoming PSL fixtures taking place this weekend. And of course, we start with the Friday night fixture between Marisbeck United and Cape Town City. Jason Nickel, I know you're going to disagree with me. Cape Town City playing away from home at Marisbeck United on a Friday night, but they come into this uh, match off the back of a two-match uh, winning streak, and I foresee them making it three in a row here. Yeah, look, obviously there isn't that much um, outward motoring mm. encounters. We know Chiefs, Sundowns, let's say all are missing out this weekend, mm -hmm. but for me, this is probably the game of the weekend. Uh, Friday night, under the lights at Eric Waller Stadium, for me, there's only one winner. I mean, predicting what he's done at Middlesbrough mm -hmm. United and the, the home form and on the Friday nights is well documented as well. So, five to four, excellent price for me on the home. Mm -hmm. Kemit Romeo Erasmus's form gives me conf confidence actually yeah. back Cape Town City. Machine the Rook's form gives me mm -hmm. confidence to silence him. This <laughs> All right, uh, there you have it. I say Captain City and Jason Agel believes Peter Mar Maritzburg United are going to win in Peter Maritzburg. And moving right along, Golden Arrows against Supersport United. Yeah, look, uh, Supersport United, last time they were in Durban, they came with an excellent mm -hmm. uh, victory over Amazulu. So it's obviously going to be a different test now. I mean, Arrows under Steve Campella and Clement, their the form has been excellent. So I think they could hold uh, Supersport United to a draw. Now Supersport United now chasing those calf spots, mm -hmm. but... I think they'll be held up here. What do you mm, say? Okay, I'm going to mention another striker here, Brett Lechrobla. <laughs> he seems to have um, re regained his scoring form. I thought you were going to say Knox Mutizo. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Knox Mutizo and Brett Lechrobla, but I foresee Brett Lechrobla mm -hmm. and Tamsanga Kabuza outscoring Knox Mutizo. So I'm backing Supersport United here. Yeah, another away win. Another disagreement with me. All right, let me pick another away win in the upcoming game between Orlando Pirates and Chippa United. I think Orlando Pirates. Yeah. I haven't lost a single game under the tutelage yeah. of Joseph Zinbo, and I foresee him winning this one as well. Yeah, they've been flying high. I mean, Zinbo mm -hmm. has came in and made an instant impact. He's improved so many players from the squad. We know, we knew throughout the season that so many of these players could could produce more. And I think under mm -hmm. Zinbo now, they've been showing that Bogani Sam, I'm so happy that he's mm -hmm. participating in the last two games now. I mean, the team is challenging. Each win is looking more convincing, so I think at 15 to 20, Pirates will be a banker mm, great. against the B team. Hola, <laughs> the Pirates is B team, uh, as Jesse Nagel says it. And yeah, moving right along, Highlands Park, Siabangana Sebaslaba against Barocca. Yeah, look, this is one I'm not looking forward to. I mean, two teams, I don't really know what they're fighting for. I think it's survival, and then they go mm. on a two match unbeaten run, and then it's top eight all of a sudden. So I think two teams will be struggling for your consistency, and I'm going to back a draw. Mm, picking a shot of the spoils. Yeah. I think I'm going to lean towards Barocca. Eh? Is it? Yeah, I think yeah. most of the points have come mm. on the road, so I think it is one to look mm. at it. 19 All to right, 10. 19 to 10. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, um, Highlands Park come into this game as underdogs at 29 to 20 at home. Yeah. Mm. Unbelievable. And moving right along, Black Leopards and Stellenbosch. Yeah, Stellenbosch, I mean, they've taken everyone by surprise. I mean, the combination mm. of uh, Wasim Isaacs and Ikram Rain as our fronts. Deadly, deadly, deadly. And uh, Lee Langefeld as well in goals. I mean, mm. he's definitely silenced these critics. I mean, still and Bosch are on the rise and they now can compete for top eight. But I think the winning run comes in the Vyamna package here of the Spurs. Mm, okay, um, I wasn't sure. This can yeah. go either way. But it really can. I'm just going to back the away win because they've got the momentum. Still and Bosch have won two games in a row yeah. all of a sudden and they seem to be looking good. So I'm going to back Still and Bosch in this particular encounter. And Lastly, we're going to have a look at this relegation dogfight battle between Amazulu yeah. and Pologane City. Um, the six make points, for... I mean, for mm. me, I wouldn't even label anyone a favourite in this picture. I mean, mm. Amazulu, they're playing the game at Kings Park Stadium. Pologane mm. City, they've been dreadful this season. So, I mean, <laughs> any coach would be glad. <laughs> They'll happily yeah. take a point. So, I think... Yeah. Yeah, I'm the package here this well. Yeah, me too. I think it's going to be boring. Even a goalless draw or a 1 1 or something like that. But yeah, yeah it's going to be a if boring draw. If it's 1 1, Pongi and Tuli is going to get the goal from us. <laughs> so. Absolutely. Yeah. There you have it from myself, ex Benedict Nguenya, and Jason Aker. Let us know what you think. Leave your comments below. And of course, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get the latest copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 Rand at your nearest Hollywood Bets branch or news agents. Yeah.